Former Iranian Ambassador Saeed Hossein Mousavian, a veteran of U.S.-Iran relations, visited Oklahoma this week for a public presentation at Oklahoma City University. He joins us to discuss relations between Iran and the U.S. and their possible impact on the upcoming presidential election. Ambassador, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. We're going to start with the most controversial, the loudest in the uh, presidential election cycle. Republican candidate Donald Trump has said over and over again he thinks the Iran deal is a bad deal. What is your opinion of his remarks and of the deal itself? I believe really the deal is a good deal, is a win-win deal for the international community, the U.S. and Iran, because the deal is the most comprehensive agreement ever has made during the history of nuclear non-proliferation. We have never had such a comprehensive detailed agreement which would guarantee all pathways toward nuclear bomb, one. We have never had any deal during the history of nuclear with such intrusive inspections and verification measures. Therefore, if I were uh, Mr. Trump, I would support the deal. Not only I would support the deal, but I would try to globalize the principles of the Iranian nuclear deal. Because if you globalize the same principles, then you would close the pathways to nuclear bomb for all other countries. And then you would have a world free from nuclear weapon. Therefore, this could be a big win for international community if they promote the same principles of the Iranian nuclear deal to be globalized and to be implemented by all other countries. There's a section of the American population that just doesn't believe that it's going to stop nuclear proliferation and that somehow it's a bad deal. Where do you think that idea comes from and how does that get settled? I really don't know, but what I know, this is 170 pages, the most detailed technical agreement ever discussed wow. between the scientists of nuclear, about 100 scientists of international world powers and Iranians. They have discussed for about a year and a half to create such a document to, uh, to, to bring all objective guarantees that the Iranian nuclear program would never divert toward weaponization. Therefore, this is the maximum the best nuclear scientists in the world after 50, 60 years of the history of nuclear, they could negotiate and they could put on the table. If we are going to decline this, then what is the alternative? It's a matter of education and not just listening to yes. sound bites on the news. Yes. Ambassador Masavian, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.